the idea of saving some money when it comes to your food, and I'm talking about wasting a lot less. Marilyn Smith is with us, professionally on fire. Now we all know in the kitchen, you are the queen of not wasting a thing. So tell us, what are the tips and tricks we need to be doing? Well, the reason I am the wasting, don't, you know, waste not, want not, is because we, on average, throw 40% of our food out. That's we terrible. Just, it's terrible. I'm way too tall right now. Keep talking. Okay. Take off. <laughs> oh, look Ooh, how tall I am. Right? Oh, yeah. I feel like I'm taller than you now. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, okay, so when you go off to the grocery store, your big tip is to shop your pantry and your fridge first. And that okay. way you're not going to waste the stuff. So if you've already got a lettuce that's looking a little sad, you know, you're going to have it for dinner tonight instead of buying a new lettuce yes. and then throwing the old one out. And make a freaking list. Do oh, it. my God. I see people like going, oh, that's pretty, you know, and so, and I'm like, where's this? So yes. I am anal, but it really does save you money, okay? Well, you and I both make the list based on the layout of the grocery store, too. I know, because we're geniuses. Yes! That is so smart, because then you're not like, where's that? And yes. then you waste your time, right? Yeah, okay. absolutely. Now, if we all ate more pulses, we would save a load of money, and your colon and your heart would say thank you, too. So, okay. you know, like, uh, beans and uh, uh, you know, lentils and split peas and soy and uh, chickpeas, and they're all going to make you really happy. You don't have to buy them dry. I yeah. use them for show and tell for pretty. Um, I usually buy canned and no salt added, okay? Rinse it really well. So the reason why these are so genius is because they don't go bad for a very, very, very long time. Years. Yes, so Years. you're not wasting anything. Never wasting anything. Okay. And, you know, if it does get really dry, you just add more liquid and cook it longer. Yes. You know, and it's okay. Yes. All right? Now, okay. when you get to the grocery store, a lot of people have, you know, they have coffee places there. Mm -hmm. And you go to save money and you spend $7 on a coffee. I do So that. that doesn't make sense to me. So I yeah. have an espresso maker from Italy. Mm. I make my own espresso. I've got one of these foam so I can pretend that nice. I made a real one. You know, really, pennies. And then I am so frugal that any extra espresso that I, I have, I freeze, and yeah. then I put them in milk later, and then I have this, like, coffee milk. <laughs> I was a starving actress for a really long time. When I first came to Toronto, um, I was in Second City, yes. and I was penniless. I mean, and so one day a week, I would, uh, like half the week, I'd have peanut butter on toast, and the other day, I would have sardines on toast. Right. And I had really nice hair. But anyway, so... Uh, <laughs> Good, healthy fats. They were. They were. Right. Yeah. Like when I think that was back. the right combination, actually, some carbs and healthy fats. It was. Okay, now, the, I always save any leftovers of grains, because I make a lot of grain, mm -hmm. but this might go into a soup later. I might use uh, the farro in uh, a stir fry. So right. this never gets thrown away. I always, I don't call them leftover, I call them repurposing. Love or, it. you know, whatever magical yeah, thing. Yeah, rebrand your Re leftover. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could think of a better name. Anyway, okay, so I had this little bit of basil, mm -hmm. and I had this little bit of, you know, wrecked parsley, and yeah. I'm using the, the stems. That's and good. Um, But I also have arugula that I kept in a uh, one of those bags that have holes in it. See how she um, stored it, though. And I store it it's in gonna paper last towels. Longer. It's going to last longer. It might look a little bit sad for a salad, mm -hmm. but you could totally make this into a pesto. I mean, there's no yes. rules that it's like you have to have just basil. Well, that's a bunch of... I was going to swear. Anyway, <laughs> I so, uh, yeah, I really, oh, I clenched it's my butt. It's a bunch butt. of bologna. That's what it is. Okay. It's bologna. bologna. A lot of garlic. You put a whole bunch of, you know, uh, uh, extra virgin olive oil in. Throw any kind of nut you want. I'm using cashews. And all of a sudden, mm. this becomes a pesto. But I don't put cheese in it. So, you know, you can use it in a whole bunch of different things. Okay. And then I freeze them in these little silicone freezers. And they just pop out. So these things are going to save you uh, for all sorts of things any kind of herbs you have you can blend them in put them in here save right. them and then you've uh, got flavor bombs for the rest of yes. the year you just keep I adding that's it so smart and then if you ever have any leftover broth or stock you can freeze that as well just freeze oh, them in an ice cube and then you can use that in a stir fry instead of opening a whole liter basket yes. now this very rarely happens at my house but I have leftover wine never happened does it ever happen no. never happens. But you can freeze leftover wine too and then you could pop that to, to deglaze a, a, a pan so oh. I freeze them I was like, are we yeah. going to suck on wine now? <laughs> I was wine like, cubes. Are making that into wine cubes, cubes that would, right? That's, that's genius. A new business. Okay. Uh, any bits of leftover berries I freeze. Uh -huh. um, these are really cool. Um, this is a, a, a container that uh, you put your, your, your fruit or vegetables in and it stays fresher longer. Those blueberries oh, are nice. like two weeks old and they're still really good. So it's kind of worth getting that. Okay. Sometimes buying in bulk is a dumb idea because <laughs> they all go rotten at the same time. Right. And then you just throw them all away. So yes. it's like 6.49, bye-bye. You know, so, yeah. uh, you know, I don't normally buy bulk. I usually maybe 
you just buy one or two. Unless it's something you know you're going to go through like crazy, like lemons. I can always oh. buy them in bulk. I'm using them constantly. Right. I agree with the avocado. That's a really good one. It depends on what it is. Yeah. A little bit of grape, so you can pack them for lunch or you can freeze them and they taste amazing frozen like candy. We talked yes. about this. Really Unsalted good butter uh, goes bad faster than salted, so ah. cutting it into the cubes that you'd need and then freezing it is a good idea. Okay. Uh, here's my best trick right now, tomato season. Mm. So I roast, now these tomatoes, look how sad this is. Can you so see sad. that? That's really sad. And you might go, I'm going to throw that out. Right. Don't throw Oh, you cut them it. up, you put them on a, a, a paper, parchment paper lined pan, you drizzle them with uh, extra virgin olive oil and some balsamic and you roast them in the oven and this becomes, this becomes the sexiest ingredient ever. Because it totally all, is all you though. do, and this is one of my other tricks, so you pick it up, look you don't even have to, well, you have to wash the pan. Mm -hmm. You have the bag in a measuring cup so it doesn't go all over your counter and then you just dump it into the bag and you can either freeze that or add that to a pasta later on in the week. I can't believe how well oh. that just worked. I know, isn't that That is young? amazing. I know, it's so smart. So the okay. other day in the kitchen, I took out the, I took something out, a container, and the, there were four tomatoes on top and I dropped the tomatoes and they went on the ground, they smushed. This would have been perfect because you now I can smush. Yeah, they're yeah. already smushed. Just give them so a good rinse. That was the okay. right thing to do. Do we have a time for one more tip? Quick. Okay, quick. Yeah, a quick oh, one. it's a long one. Oh, forget it. Okay, forget it. 